sorry, Sarah, but you're her, and Ryan's the only one that can help. I just thought it best you to... You disobeyed my orders. We're on a mission. Kathy, that, that's not how this works. You're putting yourself and the mission at risk. I'm your commander now. Do, do you understand? Do you understand, Kathy? Yes, I copy. Going out on your own is completely reckless. You've taken the only functional rover, so if anything happens, you'll be on your own. You're right. If you see any signs of life, come right back. Okay? I will. Be safe. And stay in touch. arrived. What do you see? I don't really see any signs of life from here. The facility seems abandoned and pretty beaten up, like the quarry I told you about. I'm gonna go take a closer look. If you find anyone, you don't engage them on your own. Come straight back, understood? I will. There's gotta be something here. Let's find a way down. That does not look trustworthy. I better find a way down to make it across the ice. Jump across, Ayla.
facility is surrounded by ice. Making my way across it now. Could be their water processing facility. Maybe. How's it going over there? We found something incredible. The missing Ark. It's called Ark Vita. Vita? That sounds familiar. That's not even the incredible thing. Apparently, Vita has a database of millions of Earth's flora and fauna species. Many of them extinct. <laughs> Bioprinter. It has all the ingredients to create life. Wow. All those animals we've lost, vegetation we haven't seen for decades, we can bring it all back. But we can't find it. Its location isn't on any records. It, it just vanished. So if you find any information on its whereabouts, let us know. Copy that.
Hello? Whatever Odom's function was, this data suggests its output was declining drastically. And that highlighted structure, I think that's where we're headed. I think this is hydroponic farming gear. So this is where they manufactured the antidepressants themselves. Mass distributed, right along with the food. This is what they were growing here. This entire crate was meant to serve 50 people for an entire week. That's way too little. I get why people hoarded the stuff to barter with. this down for later. So I think this facility was their one-stop shop for water, food, and self-made medical supplies. But most signs indicate they were having a pretty rough time over the last few years. Almost akin to a famine. These people are starving. And for what? MacArthur's pipe dream? Well, we don't know what caused the famine yet. Or if he was to blame, right? Kathy, be careful, all right? Will do. I'll keep sending sit reps. <laughs> Great performance, but I still want that hummus on flatbread. You should have seen that woman who sold it, Isaac. Absolutely the most gorgeous woman in Chile. Really? 
<laughs> this convention announced, um, you know, before the whole thing. And, um, what was it called? Oh, yeah, it was, it was Beat Jim Bowes or something like Beat Jim Bowes. Oh, such a silly name, it's so tasty. I bet. <laughs> you know, it's crazy what we're doing here, right? What do you mean? You know what I mean. People are starving because of these mutations. Instead, we make antidepressants so people don't think about it. I know. We can't even feed the people, Isaac. Yeah, it's... You know, science. It's an alien thing, really, sometimes. This planet is alien to us. All the time. MacArthur knows that you're organizing those meetings for him, but you should be more careful. Someone needs to listen to the people. Give them a voice. Well, uh, <clears throat> what about the people who, who, who do want to be in this place? Like you? Don't you want to go back to Earth? Back to your daughters? Of course I want to see this. It's just, it's just no hope. I mean, we're not even welcome back on Earth yet. <laughs> Saving that planet is a lost cause. You know that. Earth is not a lost cause. We can use the Arcs to save it. It's not the planet that I was referring to. You know, never mind. You think, um... think Kathy's okay? What? O of course she is. She's with Claire, right? Just, um, go to me what she looks like. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't know what she's... Well, she's into. She was so, she was so young hey, when I left. Calm down. Everything's all right. She's probably. I really wanted her to be on that. I really did. I just, she couldn't, and then I left her. You know. I just left her. That. I, mean, I left. Her. I'm a bad father. I'm a bad. I'm a bad father. You're not. No, a bad I'm a bad father. father. I'm a terrible person. I just left. I left you're my daughter. I left my father, daughter. I'm sick. You're not. Why would you do that? It's okay. Press on and find them. I'm fine, Ayla. Let's go. Write this down for later.
write this down for later. hurting all of us. We might not recover from this. I thought many things of you, Rosa, but... I did not do this. Whether you planted the bomb is irrelevant. Your words lit the fuse. People will die because of Homeward. Are you serious? People are already dying because of Outward. Do you understand what this attack does to our production pipeline? We'll have to shut down several greenhouses. Food production will drop even more than it already has. I abhor what happened here. It hurts us all. But I don't blame them either. They've screamed and shouted, but you've not listened. I know you control Homewood more than you're willing to admit. Call them off, and we might have a chance to make it out of this as a whole. No. No? You imprisoned us and forced us to leave our families, our homes. If this is what's necessary to shake everyone awake, so be it. If you'll excuse me, I'm needed in medical. Sarah, that Homewood group set off a bomb here. They destroyed the heating coils used to melt the ice. They attacked their own water supply. I don't think she was involved, but yeah. They used this water to grow food, drink, bathe, everything. Just reckless. People at the end of their rope do desperate things to get what they want. I guess. Sarah.
to jot that down. Let's go.
I just spoke to Remco. He says the yield is unsalvageable. How did we not catch this new mutation? How... How long until the ration plan is back on track? I think... We need to completely reevaluate our projections. With the heating coils out and no alloy from Herschel, we're already purifying water 35% slower than before, and... I just... Rosa is fighting her own feelings of guilt and shame. That's why she started Homeward. She thinks it'll redeem all the tough choices she had to make on the moon. Mighty brave Rosa operates out of fear and ego, just like the rest of us. Do you remember the Antarctic catastrophe? I was there. I'm the only survivor left. Our second attempt at a self-sustained biosphere, and we destroyed it in less than three years. Because of pointless arguments, petty squabbling, intelligent sane people devolved into stupid, irrational cavemen. Tell me this, Isaac. Why does emotion always triumph over pragmatism? Why were our last years on Earth accompanied by endless wars over resources? Why can't humanity ever work in unison? Because we are, and always will be, too selfish to do what needs to be done. Soon, Earth will be just as uninhabitable as Mars. Because of us. Not the rabbits or the bees, nor the cancer cells that spread through my wife like wildfire. We did that. I will not let it happen here. We will persevere, and we will succeed. Outward was working. Outward is working. The chaos she breeds will end it all. You understand that, don't you? Yes. Then explain to me, Isaac, why you helped her with her psych ward and why you spend time socializing with her. It is time you choose, Isaac, which side you are actually on. It's not about science. Rosa and I are good friends, the... You don't get to sit on the fence about this. Outward or Earth, Isaac? I'm here for Outward, William. You know that. I don't give a damn about Earth. Not giving a damn about Earth? I know I don't trust you. Why don't trust you? Because my opinion counts for nothing anymore. I've lost cost custody, so I've lost the say in the matter. Because you simply appear back on Earth to take her, and that's that. I am her father. Oh, I know. State me damn sure I acknowledge that fact. Even though her father thinks it's perfectly okay for a little girl to go and live on the moon. Can we go back home? Please? Yes. We're leaving school. Huh? I'm sorry you don't understand, but this is what's going to happen. You are being a selfish and terrible father acting out of your own fear and pain. You have no idea what you're talking about. Just know full well you are choosing to be on the moon for some inconceivable reason instead of focusing your talent and effort here on Earth. I don't give a damn about the Earth. All I care about is her. Uh, 
And what about me, Dad? signature. Ha <laughs> 
I've made it back inside. Where do you want me to go? We cleared the blockade with the elevator, so just take that up when you're ready. Copy that. Too late. Maybe we didn't. We have no idea what's behind this door. No. One way to find out. Is everything all right, Sarah? I don't know. More bodies. Security drones. I hate these things. You okay? I'll get that down. Yeah. It's been years. I'm fine. But we should turn back. It's clearly not safe. We need to find out what happened in Zadi. But we're easy targets now, though. Let's look around and see what we can find. Be careful, everyone. Anything you can... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. Anything useful on that? Its protocols are all messed up. Seems a kill switch turned it off, and likely the others too. But there's more code here. Something was altered before the kill switch was thrown. Hard to tell without doing a deep dive on the diagnostics. Look at this. Powered by the door, probably guarding the bridge. The security ASCs, MacArthur's own ASCs, are facing them, not homeward. So... They were attacking outward instead of homeward. What's Sarah's deal with security ASCs? One attack on the moon. It's the reason she got stuck there. During the blackout, she went to investigate the cause, and one knocked her out. That all led up to what happened with your dad, and you know the rest. Right. You see what some of them are holding, Ayla? These people barricade the entrance. Why would they block their own escape? Unless... 
They weren't trying to escape. Did that? Door just opened by itself. What was that? I know that sound. Came from over there. How does it come to this? Petechial hemorrhages. Cyanosis. They suffocated. Everyone? Yeah. Both homeward and outward. We have to leave. It's too dangerous. Too dangerous? Sarah, there's no one left. We don't know that. I mean, look what they did to each other. Sarah, please calm down. No. I mean, if there are any survivors, we, we have nothing to our defend ourselves. We, we have to go back. Ayla detects holograms? Yeah. Doesn't Alex do that too? No. And I've been trying to break the Lunar Council encryption key for years. How many of these have you found? Only a couple. Play it. What? Play it. seeing my family again people people please enough fighting like cornered animals you're all better than that things here haven't been easy but it's hardship we have to endure to make outward work it's hardship we had foreseen those of you who wish to return with the ox what do you think earth will do with them Who's at the front of the queue to be helped? You? Each and every one of you would be put on trial the moment your feet touch the ground. And what of the nations that don't get a say? That don't get control? What do you think they will do? They will fight, they will kill, and they will destroy. Like mindless, irrational beasts, they will destroy the Ox and each other. For over 30 years, we've known that Earth has passed the point of no return. In 30 more years, its surface will be near and distinct from that of Mars. Pushing the frontier of humanity 
always comes with a cost. But it's a price we have to pay for a better tomorrow. We can still move forward in unison and make this work. If only we- Enough, William! We are done with your speeches. We are done being ignored. Your lofty talk of unity spits in the face of all those you've got locked up in medical. Desperate people who resorted to desperate measures. Your inaction and ignorance forced their hands. We miss our families and friends back on Earth. If our tech and our minds can help save it, we have to try. You forced us to board the Arks. You forced us to live and work in this nightmare. And now, you're forcing our hand. We will be heard, William. You will listen to us. Now, Julia. How... Rosa, what have you done? After him! Rosa for all Homewardians! Grab MacArthur and get to the bridge! Oh my god. It was Homeward. They used the ASCs to fight their way to the bridge. I can't believe MacArthur pushed this to an all-out civil war. MacArthur? Yes, MacArthur. The ASCs, the attack on Odom? Rosa is just as culpable, don't you think? Rosa? You must be joking. These people have no choice. They didn't choose to be violent. MacArthur forced their hand. That doesn't mean the ends justify the means. Rosa is just as guilty of this escalating as he is. Without her, none of this would have happened. Using the oppressor's weapons against him is completely justified. Doesn't that make her as much of a dictator as he was? She's imposing her will just like MacArthur did. We saw the horror of my life more white to leave. This isn't some hypothetical moral dilemma from one of your dad's college lectures. This is clear cut. Right, sure, but how about <laughs> Was that... Ace? Oh my god, it's Ace! He made it here with Dad! He's leading us somewhere. Ayla, could it be? Ace, wait! How'd he get in there? Damn. Let's find a way in. Well, then make him authorize it. Rosa, please stop this. This has all gone too far. This is just the beginning. Hacking the ASCs, storming medical to release the prisoners. Are you not, you're not hearing the madness of it all. MacArthur cut us off from Arglavos, not me, Isaac. Why are you even here? To parley on behalf of our glorious leader? I came as a friend, please. Please listen to reason. I'm done listening, and I'm done talking. What about people who support Outward, and want to thrive? The people you have security ASCs pointing their weapons at right now! We are leaving today, and we're taking the Arcs with us. If you want to help, go to the Panopticon and tell MacArthur to turn Labos back on. Otherwise, stay out of it. Why? Why are they acting like this? We've been through so much together, how is this happening? I hope they're okay. Why? 
Why are they acting like this? We've been through so much together. How is this happening? I hope they're okay. Better write that down.
murdered her. Savages. Hey. Still with Rose after all these years? Why didn't you tell us where you were going? I... I just saw Ace and went after him. Found another hologram. MacArthur shut down Labos to stop Rosa and Homewood from activating the launch sequence. Then, I think, he shut off the oxygen from the entire colony. You've seen Isaac in these holograms, haven't you? We're leaving. What? What? We'll restart the MPT connection to Labos from the bridge. We're gonna prep Habitas for launch and be gone before nightfall. What about Arc Vita? Rosa is dead, Kathy. Everyone is dead, and anyone that's left is probably armed and wouldn't hesitate to kill us. But we haven't completed the mission. We are a man down, and mission critical gear that could have helped us is missing. Arc Vita may be important, but we don't know where it is, and we don't know if it's functional, and I will not risk the success of this mission on finding it. So we are leaving now. That is an order. So, what do we do with this little guy? Ace, turn around. ASC unit 63754 N. Ownership transfer, Lunar Council override. 170544. Isaac Johansson. Say your name. Say my. Ryan Delyanin. This is new. Kathy, align the dish with Arc Lavos. Done. Right. Ryan, conduct final checks, and then we're gone. On it. Sarah. What the? Ha <laughs> 
MPTs don't work like that. I could have made it happen even if I wanted to. Not that I wanted to. I, yeah, I just... Yeah, I know. Is she okay? Yeah. Yeah, she'll be fine. She just needs a... a second. Or two. Or a few hours. So, what now? How likely is it that the MPT dish can still be hooked up, do you think? Not very likely. So, there's a small chance. Well, we'd have to hope that the dish didn't take the brunt of the impact. And even if it didn't, it'd need to be in line of sight with Habitas, and I'd have to check all the transformers and converters and hope that I, they're all intact. I think it's the intact. last bit of hope we have. I, um, I can't leave Sarah like this, but I can take your lead on this from here. Okay. Cat, we're counting on you. <laughs> <laughs> 